Hello and welcome, my name's Glorious Badger. Today we'll be painting the Necron Overlord from Indomitus. And this is roughly where we'll get up to today. However, first of all, we start off with a freshly primed miniature. I've airbrushed on some Vallejo surface primer. And this is the first color we're gonna use. It is royal purple. I promise it says royal purple there. Followed by uh, Vallejo game color Hex Lichen. Let's get some of that reflection out. And then finally, Warlord Purple. I promise this says Warlord Purple. I'm very fond of it. Uh, the name has been rubbed off quite a while ago. Okay, first up is Vallejo Game Color, Royal Purple. I have watered this down a little bit. We are going to coat all of the armor panels. So that's the shoulder part that I'm painting right here. Not those orbs on each side though. And we've got, uh, as I said, the shoulder part parts the weird I don't know vertical bits between the shoulder pads the paint has been as I said earlier watered down a fair amount we will have to come back and do another coat later on but first of all we've got to get everything got to get that first coat on first hence its name the first coat okay uh so just moving across to the across the center whatever those vertical parts are supposed to be get those covered and get the front there we go in between those things the right hand shoulder pad uh those orb things we are going to paint later so i'm not too concerned although cutting down on work in the future is no bad thing get the inside shoulder bits as you can see it is not got 100% uh, coverage so that that second coat later is going to be a huge help uh, getting the thighs the paint is at this point a bit thinner I think that very first put it, bit I put on was um, slightly too thick probably but not thick enough to be an issue thankfully okay so we're getting the thighs the sort of hip, I don't know what those bits are. Calves. All right, as you can see, we are whizzing through this because we have sped the footage up. If you're watching this, do you like seeing this fast, uh, fast forwarded bit of footage or would you just prefer I just cut it completely um, and just do just do the regular regular speed bit with the waffle or the fast forwarded footage like you're seeing right now? I personally prefer this sort of stuff, I like. I like to see the entire miniature painted up as much as possible. Obviously, there are some situations where it's uh, just not viable, especially if the miniature is ginormous. Um, but these smaller sort of these smaller ones, I'm quite happy fast forwarding through. Oh wait, so we're going to get the face. We're going to get the sort of I don't know crown. I don't know what it is. What's on his face exactly? Around it, and uh, this is all with the basic. Purple color, one of my favorites. Getting that chest part finally. Okay, I think we're working on the second coat now. All right, yep, second coat. Now we are gonna be painting over this anyway later on. So I'm not 100% concerned if the coverage isn't complete because we will, we will get full coverage later on. Okay, I'm just trying to get the arms i'm not entirely sure why that right arm is still remaining uh black or unpainted i don't think i'd fully figured out exactly what i was going to do with it yet at this point so that is why it's been left at the moment this paint has been as you can see it is slight, quite a bit uh more watered down definitely not as thick, thick as that first brush But that doesn't matter, it means we get a nice smooth coat. Okie dokie, getting those uh, hip bits. Upper thighs and that those pointy up bits. That is, I'm sure, the technical term for them. Okie dokie. All right, there we go. I think we're looking pretty good there. And 
yep, that's his hand. Missing his... I've completely forgot the fingers. That is a major issue of mine. I always seem to forget those until the last bit. Getting sure those... Getting short, making sure those feet are done as well. Before moving on to the next part, which is hexed lichen. As you can see in that very, very fancy bit of uh, scrolling text at the top of the screen. So, hex lichen. We are going to smack that on. Onto the... Sort of up, definitely the upward facing surfaces. Um, and the edges, I don't know what that thing is, like the sort of the ridge, the crest around his head. Trying to get the up, up, upper facing surfaces. So that means um, the top of the head, etc. Anywhere where the light would hit. So some of these parts, like when you saw me painting those, uh, the vertical bits. I didn't paint the top bit of them. I painted the lower parts because in my mind, the light is hitting the lower bits rather than the more in shadow part. So the lower parts of the upper arm right there. Getting the sort of top part of the hand, trying to get those, trying to get some color into those fingers, getting the uh, bit of bit of arms, which is outside of that shadowy shoulder pad thing. Bit more paint there we go that is going on quite quite heavily it is watered down a fair amount and it will disappear so it's certainly looking a lot brighter right now but that will decrease so making sure we're getting the upper surfaces we're going to be leaving the uh parts which are facing the ground unhighlighted in this case Getting all of that shoulder pad, at least the vertical, ver upward facing part, yet again. Um, we are, remember we will be going over this with oil washes later on, so some of this is going to completely disappear anyway, and it won't be noticeable. I won't be doing a heavy. I won't be doing a heavier wash as I've done with the Necron Warriors, for example. In my mind, the higher up, the higher ranking that these Necrons are, the cleaner they are. That is at least in my brain how they work. Getting the upper surfaces of the feet, going over, boosting the saturation of the color a little bit more on some of these surfaces. Around the eyes, the edges of the shoulder pads, the upper surface of the hands. Getting the upper bit of the thigh there. Rib cage, that definitely needs um, some tarting up. And what else are we gonna do? Okie dokie, up a bit of the thigh again. Mm, yeah, I guess we'll run with that. So as you can see, the saturation of the color has dropped right down. Or I should say the brightness. Uh, and it does blend in quite nicely. These are some of my favorite purples to work with. If I am looking for a darker purple, I'll use a, um, a Reaper paint called Nightshade Purple. It's absolutely fantastic for adding more contrast. However, we will not be doing that today because I'll be using some uh, black ink, black oil wash later. But not yet, not in this particular video. We are just working on the armor, getting that those base tones down. I was looking at the miniature thinking we do need a bit of color around the front of the leg. It was looking a bit, a bit basic. So we are continuing to Punch those colors in, increase the saturation of our hex lichen. Getting a bit of color, bit more color on the old legs, the chest, tops of the shoulder pads, shoulder things, uh, tops of the arms around the face, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. When this dries, it does get a lot uh, more muted, as you can see. So adding a bit, another coat of it is not going to be a bad thing. And that looks to me like we're pretty much done. And now we're breaking out the Warlord Purple, one of my all-time favorite colors. All right. Oops, we made a mistake. So this has also been watered down, but it is quite a saturated color. 
as before, the colour will fade a little bit when it dries. It definitely looks uh, better when it's wetter. And it's, it's good to highlight the parts that we are going to be painting. All right, tops of the feet, like so. Around the backs of the calves. The edges of those shoulder bits, the lower parts of the vertical bits there. Okay, as you can see, it is starting starting to darken a smidgen. Okie dokie. I don't know what that thing is across his, between the shoulder bits. Getting that rib cage. There we go. I suppose I could have edge highlighted everything, but I, I don't really like doing that all the time. Okay. That is looking pretty fabulous. I'm using a sculpting tool to maneuver a bit of paint around on the surface right there. Okay, that is pretty much that bit. That was the first coat. We're just going to leave. We left that to dry and we're just moving on to the second bit. This is heavily watered down. And we are dragging the color in the direction of where we want the majority of the pigment to be left. So. Starting in the darker areas and moving it to the brighter bits, usually. Or at least hopefully. Getting the fronts of the legs, adding a bit more colour there. Tops of the thighs. Going to leave it for a second. Okay. I was going to cut this, but thankfully I didn't. Okay, getting the top of those upper thigh bits. Tops of the arms. It is looking very bright now, and uh, potentially I have I have thought about leaving it at this point. Obviously, everything else needs to be done, but I have thought about leaving it at this point before. Obviously, we've got the other things to do, but um, that is not what we do here. However, we are coming to the end of this one. If you would like to see more, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications. I do stream on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash glorious badger. I will be posting the next video next week where we move on to the metalwork and such things. And thank you very much. That's pretty much all we're done with today. Thank you and goodbye.